driven by profit, fresh from the carnage of the Civil War. Two million rifles are in circulation. Over a million veterans trained to use them have a new target in their sights. Frank Mayer, Civil War vet, Buffalo Hunter. I had nothing to look forward to in civilization. I was crazy about guns. Mayer tracks 2,000 pound buffalo easily capable of crushing a man. He picks them off from 200 yards. If you could kill them, what they brought was yours. They were walking gold pieces. Hunters harvest the buffalo for its hide. In 1872, they ship over one million out of Kansas alone, worth $3 a piece back east. On a good day, Mayer earns more than the president. Factories use long strips of buffalo leather as drive belts. Small pieces become coats and shoes. To meet demand, hunters kill 8,000 buffalo a day for their hides alone. For Americans, this is progress because this is a natural resource. From the Indian perspective, they couldn't understand what the white people were doing. But of course, they knew that the decimation of those buffalo herds would change their lives forever. The Plains Indians depend on the buffalo and worship them. The buffalo were our strength. From whence we came, and at whose breast we suck as babies all our lives. Black Elk is six years old when the railroad arrives. Unlike the white hunters, his people waste none of their kill. Sinews become bowstrings. Bones are cups and spoons. Skin is clothing, teepees, and coffins. Native Americans and buffalo have coexisted since the last ice age. Black Elk's ancestors hunted them on foot. There were no horses to ride. The modern horse isn't native to North America. Spanish conquistadors brought them from Europe in 1493. Some escaped to the Great Plains, perfect horse habitat. 400 years later, over a million Mustangs run wild. Taming horses transforms the life of the Plains Indian. They become expert horsemen. The battle cry went up, okay, which means to charge. And the hunters went in for the kill. On horseback, the bow is the weapon of choice. In the time it takes to reload a gun, a warrior can ride 300 yards and fire 20 arrows. Buffalo can run at 35 miles an hour. Hunts cover hundreds of miles over many days. It can take 15 arrows to kill a buffalo. White hunters like Frank Mayer use a single cartridge. He aims for the lungs. A clean kill drops a buffalo without disturbing the herd. Thirty million are killed in little over a decade. After hunters take the hides, trainloads of men arrive to pick their carcasses. They make buttons from bones and grind down skeletons for fertilizer and porcelain.
the primary resource keeping Native Americans alive is gone. Facing starvation, they're forced onto reservations. My great-great-grandmother, Grandma Big Eagle, was alive when, when buffalo hunting ended. They weren't just saying goodbye to a kind of a food stuff. They were saying goodbye to a way of being in the world. And I think for them to look back on that um, was just unspeakably sad. In 1889, just 85 wild buffalo exist in the whole United States. The men who ride the great iron horse are taming the wilderness. The railroad will bring another modern American icon to the Great Plains. last of the great frontiersmen, the cowboy. The railroad feeds lumber into the West's construction boom. Towns are built so fast, there's no time to name streets. They're given letters and numbers. The Great Plains is also home to the most numerous species of large wild mammal on Earth. 30 million buffalo. Herds up to 25 miles long race to summer breeding grounds. On a collision course with the modern world. 